on the path of destruction. You see me. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago! Come on, you! Yeah, kick his fucking Dago! You and your boyfriend, Bowser, are dead! Step back! Did you hear me? Break it out of here! Move it! Move it! We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. From what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Atta boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Oh. Footwork, Peppy. Remember your footwork. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice one. Shit, that out. Nice, kid, nice. Give me two more of them. All right, one more of you. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? 
Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, so what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Give me another 20. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. <laughs> now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> yeah, woo! Ah. Oh. His master will not be happy. It's not happen if you use tiger style. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. 
We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Yeah, that's the way to do it, my boy. Oh. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Your little cracker going down. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. Oh, come on. My grandmama hit me hotter than that. <laughs> Laying down on the job like always. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for president. No, Vito. Grab him and finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Not time. Don't worry, Vito. You time got him right where you want him. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit someplace else. Come on, man, you're killing us. Jesus, your singing is the second worst thing that happened There you go. Here. Make them sparkle. And hurry it up. Hey, pipe down now. All of us. Relax, fellas. I'm just giving the old pipes a workout. Any more of that shit. I'm gonna give your face a workout. Alright, alright, jeez. You guys got no culture.
What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get All right, moving. Skeletta, get your clothes off and get cleaned up, would you kindly? What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> it's party time. Let's dance, sweetheart. <laughs> This could have been so much easier. Oh. <clears throat> Do that again. Oh. Fuck, this guy's a fighter, huh? <clears throat> Hurry it up, John. We ain't got long. Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and, uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. 
What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! I don't think so. Again, harder! No. Try again, little man. Nice shot, Mary. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Oh, is that all you've got? This time I'll finish you. Ah. I'm not going to be so gentle this time! <laughs> Had enough? Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! Get up! I'm not done with you! I'm not going to be so gentle this time! It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. 
And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great. So what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. no. Nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood, whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. <laughs>